Welcome back, guys. I've made this video just to clarify a few things and to dive a little deeper into the well-advertised ceramic coating known as Avalon King. I've had several people ask me in the comments, why is Avalon King in my Chinese-only products comparison test? Well, the reason's real simple. It's made in China. They hide it everywhere. You don't see it in marketing on their SDS, if they'll even provide one. I've asked and they've provided me with a small screenshot of what could be their product or anywhere else except their packaging, since at least in the US, it is required to disclose where it's made. So they put it a la Apple in very tiny print as designed in USA, made in China. I don't know how the sentiment is where you live, but in the US, made in China sort of carries a negative cheap junk connotation, at least if here in the US for quite some time, as many manufacturers have taken extensive measures to hide that fact. With the help of a couple subscribers here, I've gained access to a lot of information here about Avalon King. So you jump on importgenius.com, you can search for Avalon King, and what will come up is you'll see Lixen Industrial Shenzhen. So we'll click on there, come to find out that this is the manufacturer for Avalon King. So when you start diving a little deeper, let's look. So there is Lixen Industrial Shenzhen Company, shipments to Avalon King. So we can click on that and they import to Ca Avalon King in the port of Long Beach, California. Shenzhen Industrial, also using Guangdong Zhonghao plastic products and package materials. That's the black envelope that you get when you buy it from them. That's what you get. So you can see bubble mailers. There are even even your, your packaging comes from China, which, you know, no surprises there. Country of origin, Hong, Hong Kong. So that's that's pretty cut and dry. So the question is, when we dive a little deeper into this company, you can see that here's all their imports. They import the nano ceramic coating, the bubble mailers, packaging, etc. And they do it several times. You can, this data is as recent as March of 2021. There's a couple shipments. So let's look at Lixen Industrial. Just go on a Google search and see what we can find. So the very first thing that comes up is Lixen Industrial. 10 plus years, factory experience, we hardworking, you make money. Has great reviews here. Looks like a large, middle to large company, 11 to 50 people. They do not disclose their annual revenue, but they're from Guangdong, China. Main markets, North America, 25%. That would be Avalon King. Western Europe and domestic market. So they have trademarks. Armor Shield. What is, what is Avalon King called? Armor Shield. So they have a trademark on that name and they will actually show you the trademarks here below. Click on it, look at it. Hey, does that logo look familiar? There's their patent. They have a patent on the logo as well. Maybe an intellectual patent. Looks like this company has several patents. So we can link Lixen Industrial to Avalon King. There's Armor Shield. So they patent the name. They have a patent on a certain packaging box. I don't read Mandarin, so I don't know if this is that specific box. But you can look more, Shenzhen, Lixen, there's a larger parental company that over, I guess is over this. Looking a little further, this company also makes Nano King, remember that name, Nano King, 10H Diamond, which is also in my ceramic coating Chinese only test, 9H, that's Nano Bond and Nano Age. They make that. It's funny that they come in a similar packaging, similar bottle. There's 10H Diamond again. And then they make several others too when you start poking around. But this one manufacturer makes a lot of these coatings that you that you see from China. So you can just look on AliExpress, Alibaba's machinery offers some of these others. $8 a piece. Contact Mr. Nano King. Again, there's that name. You can see they can make 100,000 pieces per month. High production, 9H under the name Nano Age, raw material SiO2. Here's the 10H diamond, $3.80 a piece. They can make, well, that one doesn't say, 3,000 pieces per week. Again, same, same sort of stuff. So here's another one for Lixen Industrial on Alibaba. You can click, go to Alibaba, five, six, seven dollars, something like that. Low cost coatings. Some of these aren't working for me or are no longer available, so we'll just move on. There's Nano King again. A lot of similarities when you start looking at these. Here's another Lixen Industrial. Contact name, Mr. Nano King. 
You'll see why all this comes together here in just a moment. Main markets, United States. They have poor ratings here, but it looks like on something else they make a UV sterilizing phone box. So here's another one, Shenzhen Guangdong, China. So here's where it all comes together. Mr. Nano King again, parent company Nano Age, Lixen Industrial. I will leave a copy of this spreadsheet in as a Google Docs file in the video description as it's hard to hard to read here, but you can see that the, the prices on some of these are incredibly low, uh, three to four, five dollars, and premium nano ceramic self-cleaning. It looks like Avalon King in those boxes there, doesn't it? Looks very, very familiar. Same bottles, same packaging, same everything, just doesn't have the Av Avalon King logo on it. That's about it. So this is the manufacturer of where they're getting it from very inexpensive so they're buying it for around five dollars a piece and selling it for about seventy dollars a piece so pretty pretty good profit margin but again you know that's capitalism that's how it works you buy it for less than what you sell it for you sell it make a profit but there are other products as we've seen from these tests that act very similar behave very similarly and perform and we we pay five six seven eight sometimes $20 and it's the same product. They even go as far as in the bottom of the spreadsheet saying that 70% of all the ceramic coatings on Amazon are from us. So we'll see how it performs in the test, but I just wanted to clarify all that for you guys. This is why Avalon King is in the Chinese coatings test. So thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions on that in the comment below.